going to show you how I created some extra address assets for this scene, just using my pre-existing T-Pager model. Hopefully you can apply this to some of your projects and save you some time too. Okay, so I made some address assets here. Sword, the torch, the axe, barrel, this, this arrow, all from this door piece here. So I'll reuse the wood, metal pieces, and rivets. So this sort of saves some texture memory, you can reduce draw calls because you're not having to bring in more materials and more texture maps. It's also going to save you a lot of time not having to repaint everything again. You get to reuse some of that sculpting and paint work you've already done. Get some more out of it. Okay, let's get started. Show you the barrel. The barrel's pretty clear. See the wood pieces could easily be reused to make a barrel. I just chose to use the three central pieces. Didn't want to the edge in to come over because it had gradient and AO bake on there. That information went of uh, tarred well. Sort of flipped, rotated them, tried to break up the repetition, but didn't go too mad. The strapping for the barrel, I just got the hinges and straightened them out a bit, stretched them just to get it to work for me. So after creating that piece, I applied a bend modifier. Use the cylinder to help guide my shape. Curve it around. See what the bend modifier is doing. Then the next step, I applied a uh, FFD to help skew it, taper it in at the top and the bottom. Give me that barrel shape. You see what it's doing there. Also applied an edit poly just to rotate the bottom strap. Just a slightly Break up that repetition. Okay, it's pretty, pretty clear, pretty straightforward. The steps, creating the barrel. Okay, so now for the sword. How did I get from that to the sword? It was just pushing and pulling the pixels around, picking out the ingredients I wanted. You can sort of see the the blade. Is made from this this handle piece, that shiny metal, squashed and stretched, and uh, bits of hinge for the other pieces of metal around the handle and, and collar. So the leather bound grip piece was taken from this piece of wood here. Sort of try to pick a bit of dark dark wood that wasn't as recognisable as the other wood if they were compared in the scene. Bit cheeky, but sort of worked. So I'm going to go through and show you how this was made. Okay, let's go. So I gave some reference, made this model. When I made it, I was bearing in mind that it's not going to have a bespoke texture. I was going to reuse the bits I'd already had. So I was trying to make sure the shapes and the materials are broken up. Okay, let's apply our material. Get the diffuse on. I'm going to start by breaking it up. I'll start with the blade. I'm only going to UV a quarter of the blade. Apply some symmetry. Okay, apply a couple of symmetries on the stack. I'll fix the uh, mirror on the Z. Apply our unwrap. I'm going to create an instance. So I can see what's going on while I was, I'm working on my model. Just easier to see. So uh, yeah, I chose to use this bit of metal here. Shiny bit of metal, which was the, the door handle here. Let's grab our UV island. Just squish it onto that. So, sort of. Looks like a rough sword blade already. We want to clean it up. Right, so when doing this, I'll try and 
work with the edge where I'm going to try and reuse that, help define shapes, use the gradients, any AO bake, any dirt, work with it. Okay, so I just went back and uh, straightened out these UVs just to make it a bit easier to work with. Okay, let's get back and get that indent in the sword. Let's pull this edge over. Bring that back in. We don't want it at the top. Put that back. I'm going to reduce that gradient AI bit. Okay, I do want some more edge information. Some edge wear, but not all that rust and decay. Help to find that shape. Make it look intended. I don't want this uh, gradient at the tip of the sword. Okay, I don't like this noise on the blade here. So I'm going to squish the uh, UV island, stretching the pixels, and try and clean it up, straighten it out a bit. I don't want the indent on the end of the blade, so I'm bring that in and get rid of that. Okay, let's do this piece. Same as before, I'm going to break it off. Work with symmetry. Create an instance. So we see what we're doing. Get the unwrap. Display the albedo. Okay, I want to get some ambient occlusion around here. Some dirt. Something to lose that hard edge. Of blend. And get that from this piece of hinge oval shape. So let's uh, plane our projection on this piece. Squish it down on top of the hinge. Okay, so as well as this AA bit and uh, try and get this edge wear. So I'm pull Pull the verse round. Okay, I'm going to try and get the edge wheel off this piece. Just literally trace it around the, the island. Help define the shape. About that stretching, I'll fix that later. Let's just trace it around. Okay, that's looking alright. Let's go and fix this stretching bit. So I'm going to grab this edge. 
fix this. Let's pull it in, and put some of that information in, overlap. Okay, it's looking all right. From that, let's grab those verts, pull it in, get rid of that. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I've jumped ahead here just because it's repeating what I was doing before. Getting bits of metal, let's create these pieces end of the handle. But you can just, just look at the uh, unwrap just to show you what I did. Just a bit of hinge symmetry on. And for this bit, I literally just use the rivet and the hinge. Nice easy one. Does the job. Okay, let's let's do the handle. So the handle I've got a symmetry on on the stack. This sort of leather bound grip is quite symmetrical. Let's apply our on map. Turn on the diffuse. Straighten this out. So on this dark, dirty wood at the bottom, looks less woody. I'm try and pull it off as leather. I'm try and get like four, four or five bounds of leather wrapped around the grip. Try and get edges to end at the base and the top, don't want it just to cut off like that, it doesn't look uh, too too believable, be aware of that. I'll try and work with that edge wear and air bake. Okay, I'm going to play around, try and get something I'm happy with. Highlight here, I'm gonna sort of make that work with my geometry a bit more. Pull them about, try and line it up. Okay, what I want to try and do here is decrease these gaps, increase the lever, close up those gaps and the grooves, of the overlap of the lever binding. Stretch that a bit more. Didn't like what was going on there at the edge. Looks better. Okay. I think I've done what I can with the UV island. I'm going to go in with the mesh and try and decrease those gaps, add some more edge loops, put it about, pull these loops around. Try and tighten that. Move this one. Preserve the UVs. Just don't want to stretch it yet. Put edge constraint on. And tighten that down. I'm going to add another loop. And squish that one down. Okay, I'm going to play around. Try and get something I'm happy with. All right, looking, looking pretty good. Let's uh, collapse all this down and touch it. There we have it. Cheap and dirty sword remade from your pre-existing t-page. No extra texture memory. Chuck it in. Send it. <laughs>